I can't believe the tool I'm about to share with you in this video isn't more popular. In fact, it might be the productivity world's best kept secret. I mean, I've used so many of the other productivity tools out there, Notion, Asana, ClickUp, Monday, and I've never stuck with any of them for one reason or another. Now, I probably like Notion the best, but even so, for me, it's too much. It's too complex. I do not like the mobile experience one bit. It's driven me nuts. And I also think the app is really slow. I'm looking for simplicity and flexibility in a productivity tool and something that's really easy to use. I want a tool that doesn't distract you with overly complex formatting or layout tools. And that's exactly what NotePlan is for me. And it becomes even more powerful when you add in its AI features in the mix. I actually found out about NotePlan when I was looking on Reddit for a Notion alternative. And I was like, what is this NotePlan? Tried it and it has blown me away. And it's something that has absolutely changed my life in my business. Now, before I show you inside of NotePlan, when you go to their website, noteplan.co. By the way, I have zero affiliation with NotePlan. I just love this tool so much, which is why I want to create a video about it. Uh, and its AI integrations are super helpful. So when you go to their website, they talk about focus more, forget less, stay focused and plan better by linking your tasks, notes and calendar all in one place, all inside of NotePlan. And yes, if you're wondering, it is avail it's, a, it's an Apple native app, so you can get it on the Mac, on iOS, iPhone, iPad. And if you are a PC user or if you're a Mac user, you can get it on the web. So regardless of whether you're Apple or PC, hey, what about the data? I don't want it out there, if you will. Well, that's another huge benefit of NotePlan is that all the data that you're putting into NotePlan lives locally on your machine and you can sync it if you want with either iCloud or CloudKit. So let's go take a look at inside NotePlan and I'll show you all the cool things that you can do with it to help you be way more productive and organized. All right, so here we are inside of NotePlan. As you can see here, you've got the left sidebar, which is your navigation sidebar. And again, you might say, well, this is very similar to Notion or Craft. Again, I've used both of them and NotePlan just does it for me in terms of ease of use and the organization. As you can see here, I use the PARA method, Tiago Forte's PARA method, projects, areas, resources, and archive. So for the projects, this is what I'm currently working on Then the different areas of the business like YouTube, school. By the way, if you're not already a member of my AI Playbook Premium School community, I want to invite you to join us over there. This is the community for online businesses who are looking to use and implement AI into their business so you can work less and profit a whole lot more. We have an amazing community over there. I have a whole library of pre-made make.com blueprint uh, automations that you can just take and upload into your system. Tons of training, live calls every single week. I will link to it in the description below and we look forward to seeing you inside that community. Now, as you can see here, I love the integration and how close everything is between all of my notes Here's my daily note, which I'll show you here in just a second. And then my calendar is right over here in the right sidebar. So the proximity of everything and how close everything is really, really works for me. So your daily note, this is really where everything centers around. And no plan is very template oriented. You certainly don't have to use templates, but templates obviously help speed things up and uh, make things a lot more consistent. So it does come preloaded with a whole bunch of templates and then you can customize those templates however you want. For me, my daily notes called daily note LFG. This is my daily note template and everything I do during the day is either coming from this daily note or when I have notes that I come across and I wanna take during the day or I have ideas or I wanna do screenshots or what have you, it's all going into my daily note. I can do hashtags in here. So I have a whole organization system by hashtag. And again, what I love is the searchability. So I can either go down here to the hashtags area and search through this list, or I can come up here and just do a search in the search field, or I can filter uh, different tasks based on the next 30 days, things that are overdue. I have a lot of things that are overdue as you can see, but the searchability in here is key for me because again, as I mentioned earlier, 
I'm a very disorganized person. And I find that I do not lose anything anymore based on the simple searchability in here and the simple use of hashtag. And if you're using no plan within a team, you can do at mentions and you can mention people um, on your team so that they can be notified of different notes that are being maybe tasks assigned to them or what have you. So this is the daily note that everything for me runs out of on a day-to-day -day basis. Also here within Note Plan, a main feature is the backlinking. Again, I understand that that's not very unique to Note Plan, but again, for some reason, it's just very, very easy. So you just hit brackets and then I can link to any note that I have organized over here in my left column here. So let's just say that I want to, I don't know, link to this right here. So this is my number one priority. Let's just say this is for tomorrow. So when I come into my daily note here and I'm looking at my top three priorities, the first one is a link. All I have to do is click on this link here. It'll open up the note and whatever I'm working on for that project or, or whatever the task is, it's all right there. So the backlinking within Note Plan is awesome. It has a really powerful command bar too. So you just do command, uh, yeah, command J here on the Mac and every, you can search through everything that is within Note Plan here. All right, the next big thing that I absolutely love, it's really easy to schedule things to do. So let's just say I wanna schedule this task. And again, because it is Markdown, and as I mentioned earlier, I don't really know Markdown outside of like the header tags, but you pick it up really quickly here. So it's the forward carrot, and then I can schedule it. I can choose a day, I can say tomorrow, uh, I can have it repeating in one week, or I can type out the date so I can say, Saturday, August 31st. So when I go to August 31st and I click on it, you can see up here in the reference section that the task is right here. So all I have to do is click on that task and it comes right back here to my daily note. So I love how things are connected to each other. The other thing, this is probably my favorite scheduling feature is the time blocking. So let's just say that this is task number one and I want to work on this for an hour today. So, and I wanna work on it from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. So all I have to do is take this, drag it over into my calendar and just say add time block. And now I can stretch this out to 11. So now it shows up on my calendar here, right within Note Plan. You can see that it is now a time block on the daily note. And also this will show up in my Google calendar. All I did was type something out, dragged it to the calendar, said that it was a time block. I adjusted the times so I could make this two hours if I want. I just drag it down and you'll notice it just changed from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. And now this event is scheduled. Let's just say that I want to link this meeting with Joe to a specific note here in note plan. So what I can do is I can create a brand new note, for example, so I can just right click on this, I can do show and I can say link note and I can choose to create a brand new meeting note. So let's just say, here's my meeting note. Now it's asking me where I wanna put the meeting note. So let's just say it's an area that I wanna put this in and I wanna put it in my school community folder. So now here is, this is the, template that I've set up for my meeting notes. And so I have my agenda, I have my notes, and then I have my action items already set. So this note will live inside of my school folder over in the areas over here, and will also be connected to this event here on the calendar. I think that's super cool. And again, it just makes it super easy for when I am working within my daily note here. I'm just going right back and forth from my notes to the daily note to my calendar and just making me way more efficient and way easier to find things and connect things with one another. The other integration opportunity that you have with no plan addition to calendar is it will integrate your reminders. So any reminders that you have set up like shopping lists or what have you, you can come in here and select whatever reminder list that you want to show up both in Note Plan here and in the calendar, you can do that right here within Note Plan as well. This is a feature I don't personally use, but I know a lot of people who use it and it has saved them time and time again. For me, it's all about the calendar integration.
Let's talk about the AI features, which I think are super, super cool. And I'm gonna show you the more basic AI features first. And then in just a minute, I'm gonna show you my favorite AI feature within NoPlan here that I think is super, super cool. And the first thing you see here is all the different themes that you can use within NotePlan. So basically for me, I am a dark mode person and I took this black morning theme here, as you can see here, I just, it just changed it. And I customized it to specific colors within the theme. So it's really easy to customize this. It's a little bit technical, but if I can figure it out as a non-technical person, you'll be able to figure it out really, really easily. So you can import themes into it. You can customize themes. And again, it comes with a whole bunch of preloaded themes. Um, again, it is Markdown based. So it has a lot of customizations right within here. It's got your editor. And then we come to one of the other probably biggest features that makes it unique is a the AI capability, which we'll talk about here in a second, AI integration, and also the custom plugins. So a lot of NotePlan users will create custom plugins and make them available for the NotePlan community. So for example, these are all the different NotePlan um, plugins that you can choose from. And remember earlier when I said, I'm only using probably 20% of the functionality of NotePlan and it still just rocks my world in terms of efficiency and organization. I'm not using a fraction of these plugins and they're, yet they're super, super powerful. So you can come in here, you can download them and there's all kinds of instruction on how to use them. There's also, which I'll show you here coming up, an amazing Discord community that everybody is super helpful and you just post questions in there. The founder and creator of NotePlan, Edward, very accessible, very open to feedback, and he's iterating NotePlan really, really quickly, which is another huge benefit. So this is the plugin section up here in the preferences. All right, so let's get into the AI functionality that is integrated here inside of NotePlan. So by the way, this is connected. And I kind of skipped over it pretty quickly there. If you go back up in the preferences section where it says AI and plugins, at the top here, you can see AI responses. You get 400, I think it's credits, just out of the box here. And if you have any questions about it, you can just click the little uh, question mark here, limitations of using AI features. So if you're a heavy user, you're going to want to connect your OpenAI API to NotePlan, which you can do. I haven't even done that yet. And I've been doing AI stuff in here for quite a bit. And I haven't, as you can see here, I haven't used a whole lot of my 400 initial allotment. So I've just typed this sentence in here. I'm creating a YouTube video about NotePlan and how it is the productivity world's best kept secret. So all I have to do is highlight the sentence, bring up the toolbar, Command J, and I can just say, please elaborate on this so I can write a video script. So no fancy prompt or anything like that. And then in order to make the call to OpenAI to ChatGPT, you just do Command I. Now it just send it to OpenAI and it's gonna give me an immediate response here right below it and it did that, what, in like two seconds? So really, really cool. And you can just get creative with whatever you wanna do with this text. So what I can do now is I can highlight all of this. Again, bring up the toolbar, and now I can say, um, write 10 questions that a viewer might have. And then Command I to send it to OpenAI. And let's just see what it comes up with. All right, so it just, again, two seconds. It gives me 10 amazing questions here that was generated from this text right here. So the bottom line with using AI in terms of creating content or summarizing content or simplifying content, whatever it is, just get creative with it, right? In addition to all the cool AI content things that you can do inside of NotePlan here, this is probably my favorite use case when it comes to using AI inside of NotePlan. So let's just say that I want to create time blocks of different things that I wanna get done um, today. So I can click transcribe voice 
At 10 a.m., I need to complete the start here section of the school community. At 3 p.m., I'm going to have coffee with Pat. And at 4 p.m., I'm going to do my daily recap. So I click stop recording, and then I just simply select time blocks from the list here. So as you can see here, just by transcribing my voice and telling it that I wanted to set up time blocks, here are all of the time block tasks that I want to do. And then as you can see here, they show up over on my calendar just from the voice. And again, this is, this is really cool on desktop, which is what I'm on, but it's even cooler on your phone. And I have an Apple shortcut set up. So it is integrated with Apple shortcuts. And I have a shortcut set up on my lock screen on my phone. So all I have to do is click the shortcut and it brings up the recorder. And so I just tell it what I want it to do and it will add it to the notes section of that day. So that makes it super easy when I am away from my computer and I have an idea that I want to capture. I can just click the shortcut button on the lock screen widget and I can just start recording and then we'll add it to my notes section here on the daily notes. So that is no plan. And that for me is the productivity world's best kept secret. I really love this tool and the AI integrations that are offered in it. Game changer for me. I am not only getting way more done, way more efficient, but I'm way more organized and I can find things way, way more easily. Again, I am not associated with no plan in any way. I just want to share this tool with you because it is changing my life. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to the channel here. Also give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions or comments, as always, leave them in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video.